manufacturers are West Virginia's investors, innovators, and job creators. With nearly 48,000 direct employees impacting the careers of a quarter million West Virginians, making the products you use every day, from automotive and wood manufacturing to chemical components and medicine. I'm Rebecca McPhail, and this is Made with West Virginia Pride. Today we're in Wellsburg, West Virginia for a look at what's made with West Virginia pride at Eagle Manufacturing, a founding member of the WVMA. For over 125 years, Eagle Manufacturing Company has provided innovative and high quality industrial safety products to its customers. With a legacy built around employees, the company prides itself on hard work and the quality of its products. Eagle manufactures the world's largest lines of industrial safety products, including safety cabinets, cans, spill containment, and more. Let's have a look at Eagle Manufacturing. Dave, it's great to be at Eagle Manufacturing today. Um, always a pleasure to visit one of the founding companies um, from the WVMA's formation in 1915. So maybe let's start with that and a little bit of the history about Eagle Manufacturing. Well, sure, Rebecca, it's a pleasure to be doing this with you. The uh, Eagle started in 1894 as uh, a glass factory, actually, and uh, this is our 125th year of manufacturing here in Wellsburg. Uh, as, as, as glass was started in 1894, it progressed into metal stamping through, uh, they had to make the tops for the, for the glass salt and pepper shakers. They cut them into the metal stamping. And then with the oil and gas boom and, and everybody driving cars and, and, and combustion engines, Eagle got into oilers and gas containers. They quit making glass about 1920. Oil and gas containers were the staple of Eagle from about 1920. Uh, and it continues today with uh, type one and type two safety cans. So Dave, we're walking through a part of the plan, and one of the really fun things about Eagle is you see an evolution of manufacturing technology from past um, to, to present, and this is kind of um, the beginning of Eagle manufacturing. Correct. So tell us about that. Well, so this is the stamping uh, operations of, of Eagle, and uh, it really starts right here with what we call the first draw. And this, this press here is a deep draw press, uh, it, it makes our, our, our staple, our signature product, type one five gallon safety can. Uh, this is where it starts, starts with a galvanized uh, blank, was drawn here for first draw, continues to another press for a second draw, and on down the line for trimming and spout and, and handle assembly. So uh, this press is about 1933 vintage, uh, still runs about three, four, sometimes five days a week. So Rebecca here at Eagle, the, uh, every part on our, our Type 1 and Type 2 safety can is, is manufactured here at Eagle. Uh, all these parts are stamped out, spot welded, uh, assembled here, including the handle, the ear plate, the bottom, all the parts are manufactured here in Wellsburg. So Rebecca, this is our 300 ton uh, Niagara press. Uh, coils are brought in here, galvanized coils. Uh, those coils are, are made into blanks. Those blanks are then taken up to the first draw where they're deep drawn into a uh, one, two, two and a half, or five gallon galvanized safety can. So all of our poly products are made from resin, uh, high density polyethylene resin. Uh, we, we consume about 17 to 18 million pounds a year of resin. Uh, this form here, we have three different uh, styles that we purchase, but uh, this is the main form you'll see in over here. product in? It, it is. So we get our uh, resin on rail cars. You can see we have about eight or nine rail cars sitting here at any given time. And the, the resin is pumped from the rail cars into silos. We currently have seven silos and uh, we can hold a little over a million pounds at, at any given time. We have three different kinds of resin we use for poly drums, structural foam, and uh, and a third product line that doesn't have to, the high density polyethylene doesn't have to be quite as high. So Dave, I see blue drums, I've seen yellow drums, 
red and yellow pants. Tell me about some of the things that Eagle makes and, and what they're used for. Sure. So this is uh, our blue 55 gallon poly drum, all poly. So we have the poly band with the poly lid. Uh, this is one of our main products uh, on the poly drum line. And it's made here on one of our dual 40 pound uh, machines. We make two at a time. Yeah, so industrial containment is really the main purpose of, a lot, of most of our poly drums. So Rebecca, another one of our uh, large product line is spill containment here at Eagle. Uh, we make various sizes of spill containment from one drum up to eight drums. Uh, today we're doing the single drum uh, spill containment. Uh, very large. Uh, we have two 500 ton machines that produce these six days a week. So Dave, 125 years of Eagle in Wellsburg. Tell me a little bit about what it means to the community to have Eagle here. How you get involved? Well, Eagle always has been and continues to be very involved in, in, in Wellsburg and the surrounding areas. Uh, we're always donating our time and resources to local schools, athletics, and academic programs. We also uh, contribute to the civic groups in Wellsburg and surrounding areas as well. So one thing we like to do at each company we visit is kind of talk about interesting things. Um, I know my first uh, visual of, a, of an eagle can was actually in The Walking Dead when Rick's walking out of zombie apocalypse Atlanta. Um, we know that there's a recent Netflix film that has an eagle can featured and this is an unmistakable um, film, historic film. Tell us a little bit about the eagle product in this picture. Yeah, so as, as everybody knows, Dorothy, uh, Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz, and that is an eagle oiler that she's oiling the Tin Man with in the famous film. Dave, thank you. It's been a fun day at Eagle. Um, it's really great to see all of the innovative products that you've developed over the years. You're such a big player in industry safety and environmental protection, and, and I appreciate you taking the time with us today. Thank you so much. Well, Rebecca, thank you. And on behalf of all of Eagle, thank you. From the highways and the back roads, over the mountains and in the valleys, there is something made with West Virginia pride around every corner. Things you use at home and at work every single day. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you'll get to know your local manufacturers. For more information, please visit www.wvma.com. We'll see you next time.